Hi, I'm Brian from Atomic Moto, and I'm here to do a review of the Scorpion XO AT950 Adventure Touring Helmet. Now, this is a really cool design from Scorpion. They waited a long time to enter this segment, but they really knocked it out of the park with this one. We're looking forward to telling you all about it. Let's get started. The first thing to talk about is that the XO AT950 can be configured into multiple variations to use in multiple types of rides and riding. Uh, as you see it here is an adventure touring helmet. It's got this visor on the top and also a shield. And what is cool about it is that you can flip, of course, the shield up and down very easily. Let me set it here. Uh, this flips up and down. You can also flip up the front chin bar. It is a modular helmet like some more um, high-end products. Uh, this action on it is very, very nice and easy. You can also remove these two screws and take the, uh, the visor off and attach these side plates on it and then it becomes a modular helmet and it actually has quite nice lines and quite nice styling. That looks really good. Let's talk about the interior. I've got the interior pulled out of this. First of all, uh, this is a quick wick liner from Scorpion which is their uh, really nice high quality uh, liner with great facing fabric. It's antibacterial, antimicrobial and of course it is washable. The foam is molded and laser cut and it is of a really nice density. This is not a cheap liner, it's actually a very good quality one. Cheek pads, same deal, different size cheek pads are available and these cheek pads are made to accommodate a communication device inside there so you can easily put um, an intercom system in there. Now flipping the helmet over, I may have said this already, but there is a removable chin curtain here, which I can pull out and show you. It's just a nice little detail that keeps wind from going up inside the helmet. And that is actually exposing the vent channels. There are moderate vent channels on the inside of the helmet. We're going to drop in some close-up shots of that. Uh, the vent channels actually are pretty deep in this helmet. And again, the ventilation system is semi-active. There's a two position vent here on the uh, mouthpiece, very nice action to it. And then there is a nice easily operated with gloves uh, uh, system uh, excuse, uh, vent here up on the top. Um, the overall helmet really just screams quality. Everything about it is really, really nice in terms of its fit and finish. Uh, let me dive into the shield system on it, which is something that's really cool. Now, first of all, as I mentioned, this is a, an anti-scratch, anti-fog shield, and it's of a very, very high quality. And inside the helmet, there is an inner drop shield that is operated by a lever, this lever here on the side of the helmet. It's got a very short throw and a lot of action to it, and that drops the, um, the inner sun shield down. Works really, really well. The face shield is really easy to remove. Um, this is a system that Scorpion has developed that works really well. I'm gonna pop these off. When you pop these out, and that gets you to the shield. Scorpion has a no tools shield replacement system where you just pop it up to the top position and it comes right off. And then getting it back on is also very easy. Of course, I'm on video, so it's a little bit more tricky. But there you go. That's all it takes. And again, these shield covers, these shield pods, um, go on over the side of the helmet. I'll screw this on right now for you to see what that looks like. When you get to this last little bit of closing the shield, you get down here, it draws the shield back in. Listen to that. Listen carefully. Super positive. And by the way, when you look all along the bottom edge, the seal on this shield is outstanding. It is better than many other helmets that are out there in the market. Here you can see it as, as a modular, um, just if you want to flip it up. Now another cool thing is, uh, I'll keep talking about this as I'm doing this, you can pull these off. And put this visor back on. Let me set a couple things aside here. And now the helmet is open in the front for off-road use. And like this, it will very easily, with its really large eye port opening, accept a set of off-road goggles, like these 100% Acri goggles. And so if you're going on a ride where you need to change up and you need something a little bit more dust protection, uh, you can pop a set of goggles in. Now, once again, you can run the goggles with the shield in place, but you cannot close the shield over them. That's something to note. So let's just recover that. The three different configurations of this helmet are this, like an off-road helmet, like this, a straight modular helmet, 
flips up. Rather nice lines. And like this as an Adventure Touring Helmet. And once again, in the Adventure Touring configuration, you can flip up the face shield, which is really nice if you're stopping to get gas or you need to stop and ask someone for directions. That's the Scorpion XO AT950. Let's talk about what we think about it. Let me wrap up this review with some closing thoughts on the XO AT950. Now, the first thing is that this slots into a segment of the market that does not have a lot of competition, that of the mid-priced Adventure Touring Helmet. We feel that there are great products, great examples like this Arai XD4 at the high end and also really good stuff at the low end like the very dirt oriented Bell MX-9. There is not a lot of stuff in the middle of the range. More to the point, there is not anything in the middle of the range that blends mid-range pricing with really high end quality, which this does. On top of that, it is not a simple uh, design really lacking features. This thing has a ton of features. It can be run in multiple configurations with the visor and the shield, with just the shield, with just the visor, using goggles. It is a modular. You can flip up the front of it if you've got to stop and ask directions. It's got an inner drop shield. It's got a great ventilation system. They put in smart details uh, with a lot of cleverness to them, like the ability to use a communications device on it. Comes in a wide range of sizes. The styling on it is awesome. In fact, um, the, the first time we saw the styling, it was a little bit radical, but it's kind of uh, taken a little bit of time. And we sort of, someone here actually related it to a Ducati Multistrada, which is a great comparison. We think it's a really forward looking design. Uh, and it looks really, really good in person, even better than it does in pictures. The graphics look fantastic. Uh, the XO AT950, we think, is an out of the park home run. Uh, it just blends lots of stuff at a really great price point. And we've had, we have a lot of experience with Scorpion's uh, build quality, and, and this definitely lives up to that also. We think this is going to be a real winner. It's a really impressive helmet. So it is absolutely bomber recommended, and we think you should check it out. We hope that that has been helpful to you. We are Atomic Moto, www.atomic-moto.com, home of the bombers, and we hope to see you out on the bike.